Let's play your guitar tone. Hey, what's up guys, Clinton here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a good recorded guitar tone using only free plugins. This setup has kind of been my go-to in the past because it's really versatile and it's pretty convenient too. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install these plugins and also do a quick demo on how you can use cabinet IRs to get a bunch of different guitar tones pretty easily. So before we get started, here's an example of a track where I use this tone on a high gain setting. Hey, I'm over here now. <laughs> Help. 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 Help me. Help. 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 All right, so let's us download the appropriate assets for this tutorial. So today we will be using the free plugins from Lepu. And if you've heard of these plugins before, you're probably laughing because they've been around for forever. But I think they sound pretty good for what they are. So what we're going to need to do is download the Amp Sim Pack as well as the LeCab. And for me, that's going to be Mac AU because I'm using Logic Pro. If you're using Cubase or Reaper or something, you'll probably download a different one. But anyways, once you have them downloaded, then we can move on to the next step. Also forgot that you will need to download the impulse response file that I've included in the description or have other IRs that you will be using for your cab. Alrighty, so step number two, once everything is downloaded, we can go over to our download folder and it'll probably be LeCab in a separate folder and then all the AmpSims in their own folder, but I just drag them together. For me, they're component files because of the Mac AU, but depending on what file type you download, it could be a little different like VST. And what we're going to need to do is find the correct folder to drag these into so that our DAW recognizes them and you can load them as plugins. So let's find that folder. Easiest way to do this will be to go to your highest folder. So for me, it's Mac HD. And uh, if you're on Mac and you don't know where to find this Mac HD, it's not on your sidebar. You can just go up here to preferences and make sure that it's checked. And then that'll show up in your sidebar. From there, you'll go to library audio plugins and uh, then you'll see these folders for all the different types of plugins so people like me we're looking for this components folder and what you can do is just open up a new finder window just click and drag do the old old click and drag over my files are already in there so i don't have to do that but that is the next step once you have downloaded the files place them in the correct folder then you can launch your daw and we can start loading up these plugins and messing around with them so for me logic 10 good old logic 10. We're going to create a new audio track and go down to wherever your third party plugins are for Logic users. It'll be down here and hopefully you'll see the Lapu plugins folder. Not only will you have all the amp sims, but also the LeCab. LeCab. So what we will need to do is load up some amp. I'm just going to use this one today and then you will need to load up the cab two separate plugins, amp and cab. So in order to get rockin' and rollin' here, you'll need to then load an impulse response. And wherever you put the downloaded impulse response, you can just have a spot where you keep all of your IRs or just put it on your desktop. Just know where your IR is. I'm just gonna use this one today. But once we got one loaded up, then we can start to get some guitar sounds going. All right, so I just got a basic little loop here that I can start messing with the tune and also show you guys some of the stuff that I think is cool about this IR workflow. So this is our tune and uh, basically I just kind of sucked this nasty frequency out of it. I just thought that made it sound a little better and you can do your own EQ to make it fit in the track. Over to the cab section here. So if you have multiple cabinet IRs in one folder, it's nice because you can flip through them when your guitar is already recorded and basically switch out cabs on the fly and see which one fits into your mix the best. For instance, I'll just cycle through a few here while I let our loop play. <laughs> So 
So you get the idea. So yeah, that's a great way to audition different guitar tones and vary the tone that you're getting out of these amp sims. So one other thing I'll show quick here is that you can combine multiple mics, multiple cab IRs and get up even more tonal possibilities. And there's a few controls down here that are pretty intuitive. I'll just show that with a quick example here. <laughs> The sample delay is pretty useful because you can basically phase shift one mic against the other and get a different EQ curve without actually EQing any of the guitar signals. So that's something that I like to mess around with. And then you also have your standard high pass, low pass volume and pan, which can be useful, especially if you're bussing multiple guitar signals to a bus and you just have this one cab plug in and you just want to have a one IR panned left, one panned right for your stereo guitar sound. So there's a lot you can do with this plugin even though it's free. One bug I've noticed is that if you have multiple IRs loaded and you open a session, they will all be on, which it'll make it really loud and you'll forget, you know, maybe which ones that you had turned on or turned off. So that's the that's my one gripe with this free Lapu cab loader, but uh, it's pretty good overall. So. So lastly, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the guys over at Fortin for making what is now my go-to, my favorite amp sim. This amp sim's great because first off, it sounds great right out of the box, doesn't take much tweaking. I usually just boost this grind knob up a little for high gain tones and um, comes with some great sounding cabinet IRs, but you can also load in your own. So for instance, you could use the one that I gave you in the download and uh, it sounds pretty good. So here's how it sounds stock. That's just opening it up default plus um, turning up that grind knob and then this is just it but with the amp sim that I put in the download. I'll just do a quick switch back and forth so you can hear all of them. Lapu, Fortin plus my cab, and Fortin just stock. <laughs> So yeah, there's a little bit of level difference there that might throw you off, but point is you can get a pretty good tone using the free plugins. And then there's also some pretty nice options out there um, if you want to spend a little bit of money, but it's easy to record guitar nowadays. You don't need a real amp. You don't need a real cab. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. All right, guys. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks again for watching.